Right behind me here we have um, what we call SDO3. So this is a manned vehicle that has flown with a pilot in Japan. Um, I think the first eVTOL multicopter to fly in, in Japan. Um, so it was a great achievement and um, we were focusing on safety and controllability of the vehicle. And this is very much a tech demonstrate. And now we're busy working on the SDO5 vehicle, which will be released in 2025. Um, so the, the configuration will be slightly different to what you see here, uh, but we will be operating in Osaka initially and flying people around Osaka Bay to uh, Universal Studios, Aquarium, and the Expo site. So the Osaka Expo in 2025 is where we will will launch the SkyDrive vehicle. The, the difference with SkyDrive is we have a long-term goal to have a true flying car. So we want to be able to take you from your house to your office in the same vehicle. So that would mean some drive capability. So drive to a local um, takeoff site, take off, fly to an office and land without leaving the vehicle. Not many other um, manufacturers are, are looking, that, looking to that as a strategy because it's very difficult. Yes, I, I think that definitely the public would be ready for this once it hits the market. I, I believe that with, particularly with video games, that the imagination is there to be able to pilot your own flying vehicle with a lot of, uh, a lot of different ways to maneuver it, etc. So I'm optimistic. It's exciting. It's, uh, it's interesting to see the technology coming along and uh, these vehicles being prototyped and being able to sit in an actual prototype. We're looking at around $200 per experience. Um, so initially a leisure and tourism type application, um, so more of an experience. As we move into the product after SDO5, we're looking to reduce that price to something that's comparable to an automotive ownership. So maybe $4 per mile, roughly. So maybe $50 for a typical journey. So we want to make it accessible to all.